Welcome to this yoga sequence for managing diabetes. We'll begin in a seated position with the palms facing up, bringing the thumb and index finger to touch with the other three fingers drawn out. This is Yan Mudra. Bring your gaze down to a 45 degree angle and begin to inhale deeply through your nostrils and exhale slowly and completely through your nostrils. Inhale again, draw in a little more breath and then exhale, lengthening the exhale. Continue this for four more breaths, inhaling deeply and exhaling slowly and completely. Once you come to the sixth breath, exhale out your mouth for a cleansing breath and place your first two fingers now in towards your palm of your right hand. Close your right nostril with your thumb and begin to inhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril with your ring finger, release your thumb and exhale out your right. Inhale again through your right nostril, close your right nostril with your thumb and exhale out your left. This is one round of Nadi Shodhana, also known as alternate nostril breathing. Notice the calming effect that this pranayama has on your body and mind. The aim of performing pranayama is to provide optimum oxygen to the internal organs to promote health, vigor, and vitality to the body. Continue this for six rounds. Simple pranayama and asana help to control blood glucose levels. As we move through the yoga asana to come, be mindful of choosing the depth that's appropriate for you. As you squeeze and compress the abdomen, it helps to stimulate pancreatic secretions. Now begin to rotate your torso to face the short edge of your mat and extend your legs out in front of you. Take your right hand to your right knee, gently rocking from side to side and placing your right heel by your left hip. Slowly fold at the hip crease, guiding your arms beside your legs as you begin to fold in towards your right leg. Breathe deeply here. Squeezing and compressing the abdomen helps stimulate pancreatic secretions. As a result, it moves insulin into the system. Keep the breath nice and deep and even as you move through these asana. Now, guide your left arm around your right knee, rotating your torso for a seated spinal twist. After your sixth breath, guide yourself back to center, extending your right leg out, and now taking your left leg, taking your right hand to your left foot and your left hand to your left knee. Rock gently from side to side and guide your left heel to the outer area of your right hip. Now begin to again fold at the hip crease, leading from the heart and drawing the chin forward. Begin to fold in keeping once more the breath deep and even. Bring yourself back up and now draw your left knee in towards your chest, wrapping your right arm around your left knee. Lift up through the crown of your head and as you rotate your torso towards the left, press firmly down your left hand into your mat. This will help to lengthen the spine. Now guide yourself back to center, 
scoot yourself up your mat and gently bring yourself onto your back. Now bring your legs up for your supported shoulder stand. Draw your ankles over top of your knees, over top of your hips, supporting your back. And now bring your legs back behind you for Halasana Plow Pose. If you feel comfortable doing so, you can place your palms down on your mat or you can interlace your fingers, draw your shoulder blades in towards each other and reach your wrist towards the front of your mat. Continue to breathe deeply. On your next breath, guide your spine down onto the mat. Have your feet flexed and remain here. This is your legs up the wall pose. This helps to restore your nervous system. Now bring your knees in towards your chest and hug in tight. Extend your right leg and guide your left knee across your body. Ensure that both of your shoulders remain firmly rooted on your mat. Continue to again breathe deeply. Allow any tension and tightness to be released. Bring yourself now back to center, hug your knee in towards your chest and extend your leg out in front of you. Now bring your right knee in towards your chest and guide your right knee across your body, rolling your head to the right as you draw your right knee to the left. Keep both of your shoulders connected to your mat. Slowly guide yourself back to center, hug both of your knees in towards your chest, and now with your hands behind your thighs, rock yourself up, scoot yourself back, and come into Pachimottasana. As you guide yourself into this forward fold, continue to draw back at your hip crease. On your inhale, bring yourself up and gently guide yourself onto your back for Shavasana, your resting pose. Breathe deeply here. Let go of all tension in the body and the mind as you rest in Shavasana. When you are ready, bring your feet onto your mat and guide yourself over to your right or left side. Pause for a breath before you guide yourself to your seated position. Once you are ready, firmly press your hand into your mat Bring yourself back to your seated position. With your hands in prayer, Anjali Mudra, bow your head to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today for this yoga sequence for managing diabetes.